We're talking with Dr. Richard Rainey, Executive Medical Director at Regents Blue Shield in Idaho. And uh, I just wanted to ask you, Dr. Rainey, what are some of the common issues and problems that you run into when basing coverage decisions? Uh, with coverage decisions, we work hard to make sure that um, our decisions are, are based on science, um, and in particular areas it's more complex than others. Um, that what we were talking about today is genetic testing, which is one of the most complex areas in terms of making uh, coverage decisions. How much of a factor is cost? Um, with, with respect to coverage, we look at the, uh, the medical necessity of coverage. Um, sometimes cost uh, uh, comes into account, uh, particularly if there are two services that are, if they're exactly equivalent, um, the medically necessary service is the least costly of the, of the alternatives. Um, it's rare that there are two services that are exactly equivalent, but when that's the case, uh, then the least costly is, is the medically necessary service. What challenges and impact will personalized medicine have on payers? A number of challenges. Uh, the, it's a rapidly growing field, uh, growing explosively, uh, and the, the development of the tests, the evidence to support the tests is not uh, keeping up with the actual development of the test. So it's a real challenge to uh, evaluate that effectiveness uh, when there's not as much evidence uh, as there has been in the past on, uh, on when growth has not been quite as fast. So is it uh, the major barrier, would, would you say, is the processes in place to try and keep up with all the influx of information that is continually coming in for, from all different sides when it comes to personalized medicine? It's with respect to genetic testing, it's a huge challenge to keep up with the information, um, both in terms of the people who are actually developing it, in terms of their publishing the information and our keeping up with that information that's published. Do you foresee modifications to current criteria for basing coverage decisions as more data is collected on targeted therapies and subsets of patients and so forth? It is a new area where there are new issues that have come up, and, and I'm sure that uh, criteria will be dynamic in terms of changing to try to address the new issues as they come.